What is that? Do you know what that is? It's called a beaver. A beaver. Have you ever seen a beaver in real life? I have. They're actually really big animals. They're like that big. Now, beavers are one of Canada's national symbols. We even have the beaver on our five cent coin. Okay, this is our five cent coin right here. Now, a five cent coin can also be called a nickel. Okay, so mostly we just call these coins nickels in Canada. Do you have a nickel? I'm five cents short. I need to pay for my coffee, but I'm five cents short, so could you give me a nickel so I can buy my coffee? Okay, so this lesson is about Canadian symbols. Now, our flag is a symbol, and the colors red and white are also symbols. Now, what is this leaf here in the middle of our flag? Do you know what kind of leaf this is? It's called a maple leaf. A maple leaf. That's one of Canada's most uh, popular symbols. The maple leaf. Okay, it comes from the maple tree. This is a maple tree right here. Now, another thing that comes from the maple tree is maple syrup. Mmm, maple syrup. Have you ever tried maple syrup? People put maple syrup on their pancakes for breakfast and it tastes delicious. Okay, this kind of bird is called a loon. A loon. Now, it's important because that's the bird that's on our $1 coin. Okay, this is our $1 coin right here. And our $1 coin is called a loony. A loony. So if you come to Canada, you're going to be seeing a lot of loonies. Okay, we don't call them $1 coins, we call them loonies. Now, a bird that's even more popular than the loon in Canada is the Canada goose. The Canada goose. You know, we often hear Canada geese flying over our house. Okay, they make a honking noise. The sound they make is called a honk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, they fly south for the winter and they fly north for the summer. So very often I can hear them flying over my house. Okay, now we also have polar bears here in Canada. Have you ever seen a polar bear? I have, but only in a zoo. I've never seen one in the wild. Okay, polar bears are also on a coin. They're on our $2 coin. Okay, our $2 coin is called a toonie. A toonie. Okay, so again, if you come to Canada, you're going to be seeing a lot of loonies and toonies. Okay, now, a lot of people in the winter wear toques. This kind of a hat is called a toque. So I think it could also be considered a national symbol in Canada because so many people wear toques in the winter. Okay, so this is the Canadian Parliament Building. That's where all the government stuff happens in Ottawa. Okay, lastly we have hockey. Hockey is maybe the biggest Canadian symbol. This is a hockey stick and that thing is called a puck. Okay, so Let's do some homework. I want you to tell me about a national symbol in your country. Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.